buddy. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Adam Kovic. I am Hunnar. And I'm Mr. Sark. And we're here at the Square Enix party at PAX East, and we're checking out a couple games. I'm pulling MC duty, these guys are doing some interviews, and we're just going to hang out for a bit and have some fun. Pizza, Hundar? I'm going to eat a lot of pizza. There's a big line out front, so we need to make that happen like post haste. Yeah, Let's they're going to eat it. Right I don't. Well, Can I drop the mic on the... Let's drop the you mic drop on the, the mic at the end. No, no, we're there. no, 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 they're saying no, it'd be... All right. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Mr. Sark. I'm here at the uh, the post pax soiree we're throwing. I'm joined by Roberto, who is an expert in all things Agent 47. You just threw down a smoking demo of the new Hitman game. For anyone who's not seen your awesome live demo, explain what's going on with Absolution. With Absolution, we really wanted to push the boundaries of what Agent 47's capabilities are about. And uh, what we showed in the demo now is uh, two playthroughs of the same checkpoint. Really want to focus on uh, his abilities and how uh, they're at your disposal as a player from the get-go. We really also wanted to show you how the game reacts accordingly to what your choices are. Let's break down what you can at this point anyway of 47's new abilities, because you showed some of those. Well, the, the biggest change we made from the previous installments of the series is the fact that we added an instinct feature to him. And uh, it's really crucial to how the game is played and how the player perceives his options in the game world. Uh, it's, uh, it's based around an economy system that we showed in the demo where, uh, by, uh, where the player gets more instinct by doing headshots or hiding away bodies and at the same time burns it away uh, when he is using it. It's an instinct that tells him where uh, uh, enemy, enemies are situated in the world and uh, where the predicted paths could be or other information. And fundamentally it replaces the old minimap from uh, the previous games. There is an open world element to Absolution. Can you tell us anything about that right now? Very little. I wish I could tell you more, but the next time you will see something from our team, it will be much more focused around the sandbox elements that are very much present. This was just the tip of the iceberg we're showing you here. I can't wait to find out more about Absolution and this open world element that you're talking about. Thanks for chatting with me. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me here.